Hey, what's up folks? Wild Bill here. Told you this last video I did. Had it all sped up. I'm doing all my mods on my kayak, whatever. So, uh, fair to take the time today, kind of walk through about a stern. Show you what I've done, how I rig my gear and whatnot. So, let's get to it. All right, here it is. Do a quick walk around real quick. Let's see what's going on. So, start with, put this little safety flag I put on the front. It's ordered on Amazon. Put my kayak in backwards, just easier for me to load and unload that way, especially with that exposed rudder. Got this front hatch here. Comes up. Got a little cast net box. I'll secure it in there better, but it has my uh, battery in there for the fish finder. Keep my net up here in the front. Pretty easy to reach. Got it secured and everything. Put another mount here. Here's my uh, leash. I'll secure it to my pedal drive. So that way, hopefully, if I do flip over, <laughs> I won't lose my drive. A couple of more tie down points here. Got my rod holder up front. I like that one. Uh, well, casting some bait on the bottom or something. Here's the fish finder I installed, the Garmin Striker 4 Vivid. Um, mainly got it just to get uh, speeds for trolling or get the water temperature. And it has like an active map setting on there too. So uh, get some contour of the bottom and stuff. Had this cup holder. I mean, you know with Hobie, I mean, you can kind of see the way the original cup holder was. I don't know what that's holding. So I glued this in here, keep my water bottle in there. A pair of braid scissors. Inside the hatch here, what do I got? Let's see, yeah, a couple of packs of swim baits. Air horn in case something comes at me. Just grips, whistle, stuff like that. You know, this usually has the round hatch. This one came in the back and it was removed, relocated to the front. And then this square hatch moved to the back. So put that on there. Here's a seat back here in the back. I got another little mount here. Put my rod in here. I like it when I'm sitting in a chair and I catch a fish. I like to be able to have my pole in here. And it'll come up, you know, and the line will dangle right in front of me so you can get fish off or uh, tie a new line, knots, and whatever, you know. Here's my bump board. Somewhere I can reach back and get it pretty easy. Another little over here to tie down. I plan on getting uh, a beach cart. So I'll secure it back here. And if these bungees, maybe I have to put a tie down around these things here. No, I got my milk crate. My tackle bag I put down in there. Sunscreen, some bug spray. Uh, I'm to put my fish on when I decide, I decide to keep a few. Now I'll be able to hold three rods on there. Got a bait knife if need be. Yeah, that's on the seat. Got an inflatable PFD. Got the Blue Storm Stratus 35. Automatic or manual. I've never used one before, but I'm trying to look for something lighter when it gets hot out. So let's see how that works. Let's see, back here in the back, I just installed the Boondocks rudder. It's aluminum. Hopefully that'll hold up a little better. Here on this side of my crate, a little piece of PVC I put into it and then my anchor hold in there. I think it has a 20 foot rope on it. So that way, uh, fish a little deeper water if I need to be, whenever I'm not using my stakeout pole. I love this thing for the shallows. I'll tell you what, if you don't have a stakeout pole, you're crazy, you need to get one of them things. That's a game changer. Again, you tie down, except for the cart. And with a little track here, tie some stuff down too if I need be. And uh, I installed these little mesh pockets too. Got those from Hobie. Those installed pretty easy. There's actually two indentions on these screws here. So that way they uh, shows you where to install them. That way it doesn't get in, get in the way of your rudder line or whatever. 
There's where I put my through hole fitting for my wires to come out from my fish finder. The other fitting came up from here for my transducer. Went into the hole here, wrapped around. Yep, you see here on this side, also got another one of those things. Got my Danko pliers in there, and things are money. Another uh, mount there, you put a rod holder or my camera boom. You know, we pretty much move all these accessories around from spot to spot. And then, of course, y'all saw me install my anchor trolley. It's good to have one on both sides. I always found the way I fish and where I fish, one on the left side seems to work the best. So, I have another one to install if need be. Let's see, I fished with it a few times and when I get in the situation I need it, I'll throw it on there. It doesn't take 20 minutes, so pretty easy install. Yeah, y'all got any questions about any of this, let me know and uh, maybe we'll do another video, respond in the comments, or whatever, let you know what I did. But, uh, yeah, hope we'll get on the water soon. It's starting to warm up. Man, this, people are already starting to catch reds and trout around the area here, so I can't wait to get out there. Thanks for coming along on this build. And uh, maybe see you out on the water this time this year, and we'll hook up fish together. So, till we get on the water, man. Wild Bill out.